TV New Zealand's most passionate wine program episode monumental 200 and um, so we thought we'd do a blind tasting just to line things up and also um, have a bit of fun um, basically Garrick has poured four wines into these different glasses all Sauvignon Blanc some from France some from Marlborough some from Hawke's Bay um, and what he wants me to do is put whatever bottle of wine I think is in this glass in front of it. So let's crack on. On this one I get it's and I don't know what it is about my nose right now but I, but I smell lemon sherbet. I get lemon sherbet with a bit of kind of crushed quartz um, a bit of passion fruit you know all those kind of oh a bit of mint bubblegum at the end there. Almost a velvety mint bubblegum. Very sweet fruit on the palate. Um, then you get this dry, nice pleasant dry kind of mineral character coming through right now. Now this one is completely different. This is the lightest of the, of the lot. And um, this is almost like Didier Dagonet. What I get off this, this is, it's a bit more kind of aromatically challenged in this glass, but what I get is I get some really fine mint I get a lot more kind of crushed mineral, bit of river stone, um, then followed by the kind of citrus characters that you normally get. But it's all about the kind of minerals. And it's all about the palate weight. This one here, I know. I, I hope I'm right. I'm going to put my money on this. Is um, I've got to say that the Sanse Blanc Pascal Jolivet 2007 that has incredible palate weight. It sits really quite full in your mouth. It's got this kind of it's less about the fruit, more about the palate and texture, and then it, and it finishes really long. Wow. Now we come back, tripping back to New Zealand with this, I'm pretty sure. There's a lot of primary fruit, there's kind of, it really is on that sweeter end of the scale by, by far. It's, um, it's now just starting to get some kind of green characteristics. Jeez, that's not a good look for episode 200. First time I've poured wine all over myself. But one thing I do, I do get a bit of kind of gun flint. I'd, Coming from the UK, the Hampshire, we used to get this flint and we used to try to make it into tools. I'm not sure whether you get anything quite like that here, but, um, and when you strike it, you get this kind of flinty kind of character. Also, you get a whole load of sparks. And that's exactly what I'm getting off the top of this. Gun flint and a bit of straw. nice dry I really like that kind of gum flint character on that nose let's try this one okay I know what this is this is not aromatically challenged at all this is pungent it's coming out the glass it's very kind of given 
gives its identity away pretty quickly, I think. I've got Garrick just laughing just at the back of me there. Kind of, um, he knows what they are and I don't. And that's when I get that kind of processed tin marifat peas that kind of have that pla kind of plastic coating. Um, not derogatory in any kind of way. Then again, a sweet kind of perfume kind of character that kind of underlies all of that. It's, it's nice and rounded in the in the mouth actually. Let's put these here so you guys can see. That one I'm going to put there. That one there. That one there. And that one there. Now, we can have the big reveal. Yeah. No way. No way. Well, we. Okay, points wise. Number one. Number two. So, number one is the Elephant Hill Sauvignon Blanc from 2008 from Hawke's Bay. Oh. Number two, Pascal Jolivet 2007 from Sancerre. Number three, Block 2, 2009 from St. Clair. And then 2009, St. Clair Sauvignon Blanc from Wine and Fork. Now, points wise, I'm going to give this 92 points. I'm going to give this 90 points. I'm going to give this 90 points. And then in last place, I'm going to give that 86 points. I've got to say, that is, I didn't think I'd ever get the kind of French wine mixed up with the Hawke's Bay wine. It's obscene. I, I, I might have to call in the referee to make sure you got it right. You can't do that. <laughs> uh, the the colour's all different as well. Um, do you want to test it? Do I want to test it? Do you want to pour another one? Or yeah, yeah, that's a good idea. I'll pour another one because I'm still... The, the jury is still out. Oh no, you're right. You're right. I mean, they're, they're, they're miles apart in colour. But you were right about the dirty nose on the elephant hill. Yeah. So, goes to show, it kind of makes you feel a bit more kind of humble that you get kind of even continents wrong, countries wrong. Um, these two were very, very Marlborough-esque. This one, I've got to say, is a superb example of Marlborough. Um, I really like that. It was, it was nice, all rounded. Um, this here is, for me, this is more French than, than this, for me. I am shocked. Anyway, thank you very, very much for the kind of support and everything like that. Um, let's do a few names, shout out a few names. Um, Joe Hartley in the UK. Obviously, there's um, Corin, Dan, Andy, Garrick, um, Lucy, Amy. Um, geez, who else? And there's there's um, oh, Jean Paulo, um, Courtney Lambert, also Graham um, from Adage Business, also Matt, um, Matt knows who he is, and then there is. Um, just a whole raft of other people that I've, I've just got to say thank you very much and for the support in kind of getting me through to 200. A humbled man, a humbled man. Anyway, 
keep watching. Cheers.